Hey, what's good? It's Tony A with Your Bad Day. So I've made several videos on how we could just better ourselves, personal development, and just our community, what's lacking, the needs, and you know, pluses and minuses. And someone asked me, you know, hey, okay, so you, you know, you say all this stuff, you talk a lot, but you know, where can we start? What can we do to start, you know, just bettering ourselves as a community? So I wanted to make this video on really five things that. I believe can really make you an asset to the community. So just getting, you know, degrees, graduating and getting jobs, it doesn't, yeah, it's nice, but that's, I mean, that's like standard. It doesn't really take us to the next level. It really just helps our own personal lives. And if we're really trying to do something for the community and come together, be on code and, and do amazing stuff, then we got to stop thinking so individually and think like a group, think as a, as a unit, how can we help each other out? That way we can succeed in ways that we didn't think was possible uh, because we're working together. So I just got five points and I'm just gonna go through them real quick. So uh, starting with the first one, uh, understand the history of your people. So whichever African country um, you're, you're, you're coming from, um, just know the beginnings of it. If, if your parents are like mine, my parents didn't really teach me anything at all about the history of Nigeria. It was, I ate the food and I'll wear the clothing as a child when I'll go to parties. And that was, for the most part, that was pretty much it. Like, I didn't know the history. I didn't even know about the, the civil war that went on. My mom never taught me about it. Um, my dad never said anything about it. It was just stuff that, they, you know, I guess being here, the immigrants, and to just focus on um, just working, getting money, sending money back home, me going to school, getting good grades. So that's just how it happened. So now that we're adults, once we hit 18, we're responsible for all the information that we should know. So, you know, if you're really passionate about your country, then, or, you know, your people, the tribe, whatever, you know, you want to relate to, then take time to study the history. Not only are you trying to unlearn the lies that's been taught about our people, but um, also you're just getting rig rid of your 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 own biases and ignorances. Like a lot of it, we don't really know, um, you know, which countries are next to us, what other tribes are in our region, how did it all start, how did we get here? Like a lot of the stuff we don't know because it's not taught in any of the schools, especially back home. So it's on us, the books are out there online, the information is out there online. It's, it's now our responsibility to teach ourselves. So I'm a big advocate for reading. I've learned so much just from just reading books, different books. And the way I like to do it is I like to read several books on one area so I can get different perspectives. And then I wanna make sure that there's a common theme. So I don't want to just read one book on, okay, the history of Nigeria. No, I want to get multiple ones. And that's what, I've done that's what I've done before. And it's very helpful because now I'm getting like a 3D picture of what's going on. And they're all agreeing on like a, a certain narrative. And so now it makes me feel comfortable that, okay, these three different art, um, the authors are pretty much talking about the same thing makes me feel confident that the information is is legit rather than just someone's own per, um, perspective. So I uh, always recommend just reading reading more about your uh, your culture. Like uh, I got, um, let me see, what's the best book? I got a lot of books on Nigeria. Uh, let me see, see, I got a lot of books I like to read. And trying to, hey, this one book. Okay. This book was really good. I actually talked about it on my Instagram, but it just shows the uh, the history of Nigeria um, and just what they went through, the people. And this is a lot of a couple of the books I have are before colonialism as well. And you know, for for those that are Liberian Sierra Leone, I want to know about y'all history as well. So I'm eager to to read this book and see the history of, of your people. So that's the first thing. Know what what's in your culture other than the food and the music. That's that's the current stuff. Know where you're coming from and it just it, it gives you a better understanding of 
where you've been, where you're headed? Are you heading in a direction that you want to be in? Or, you know, does it stand for some correction in some areas? So that's number one. Number two, better your soul personally uh, to be the best version of yourself. It really goes without saying, if you're a better version of yourself, you can be a, a, a greater asset to somebody else, to another community. So um, starting with emotionally, be better emotionally. So a lot of us, we go, you know, in our culture, we go in and out of relationships, right? whether it be romantic, business, friendships. There's a lot of trauma that we get, especially from the, um, the romantic relationships. There's a lot of trauma that we go through. You know, we need some therapy on, on, on some of the stuff that we deal with, both men and women. Um, also, just what we see, just, you know, like a lot of our upbringings, we have really strict parents. It shaped us into certain people. Like I know growing up, I was really shy, really, really, really shy person. My mom didn't want me to speak at school. Just want to be quiet, just silent, not say anything. And, you know, as I got older, I realized really in college, like I, I can't succeed if I don't know how to build my social skills. So that's when I had to keep working on it. And, and, and now, I mean, even doing this this um, video presentation, I didn't I never thought I would be able to do something like this. So it just starts with just recognizing your your limitations or really not your limitations, but your mental limitations and then working on how can you cross those barriers. So um, that's the first thing you want to be strong uh, emotionally or at least work on it. And good therapist can can help you with that. I'm definitely trying to find me a good a good therapist. I've never done therapy before, but I know I just want to get a good um, clean bill of health, uh, mental health that I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, physically, you want to be you want to be your best self physically, because if you're if you're out of shape and, and you know, you're not doing your best, you're not going to have that energy to work hard consistently or you, you might get sick more and you know it's just eventually if your body if you're not maintaining your body it's going to break down it's not going to it's not going to put out quality energy like 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 it should so i know for me the the whole year of 20, 2020 i didn't get sick once with you know the the virus and everything i didn't get sick once well why why is that well I, I i eat healthy i cook most of my food and i exercise i'm very active but specifically i exercise I go to the gym um consistently and probably like five average five times five times a week and i'm able to 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 keep to continue going and doing what i need to do versus you know a good bit of other people they don't maintain themselves like that. They put garbage in their bodies. They don't exercise, and it's just the body can't fight out, fight off certain illnesses, sicknesses, you know, whatever you know. Uh, media wants to say it is like it, it comes down to: Are you taking care of yourselves? So you got to be strong for, um, physically, and then also spiritually. But like you have to have some sense of purpose in this life, and, and there's a reason why you're here. It's a greater mission than. Just being an employee and working and making money. No. So it's safe to say a lot of us, I say really almost all of us, we're not atheists over here. Um, we actually believe in a, in a higher being and a higher power. So it's good to have that strong relationship with the father. Well, despite which religion that you want to follow, at the end of the day, you got to have a strong relationship with, with, with um, our creator. If you know, and, and and when you have that, you just move through life not as stressed. You're a little bit more, or you're a lot more calmer, and you're a lot more focused because you know that hey, there's a purpose of um for my life here, and you know I'm 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 here to you know to accomplish whatever I have to accomplish until um you know uh, I'm called back home. So yeah, so spiritually, so that's my second point of how you can be an asset to your community. Third, be of service to somebody else other than yourself. So you wanna volunteer at your local church. Um, you could join meetup groups that do like constructive work, or you can teach, mentor the next generation after us because believe it or not, the next generation is gonna be taking care of us. Well, well, somewhat. I mean, they're not that younger than us, but you understand what I'm saying. The next generation is really going to, you know, we, we, we want them to be great as well so that when we get older, we don't have a mess of, you know, just a group of people that 
you know, don't don't understand delayed gratification and don't understand critical thinking skills and and emotionally weak. Like, no, 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 no. Try to help the next generation so you could just keep passing this down. Think of someone else than yourself. Now, me personally, those are one of my goals. I never really thought about it in my life. It's never been expressed to me like that. Like out here, I've, I've done Habitat for Humanity and stuff like that. But as far as on my own, where I feel like I'm really making an impact, you know, it just never hit me into really, I guess last, last year, it really started hitting me. So yeah, I want to be of service to somebody else other than, than my own. I've been blessed. So, you know, I wish I had a mentor growing up um, because especially when it comes to school, like there's a lot of mistakes that I made that if I, if I only knew about it, man, I would have been way better positioned. So yeah, be of service to somebody else. The fourth, become financially literate. So it's really important because if you got money issues, you can't really think straight. You can't really help anyone. You always have that those money issues on your mind. It's frustrating. You you just you just can't be focused. So learning how to um, take care of your money, how to make it grow. So then you can also be of service and share that knowledge with somebody else. You see how it all works, it all comes full circle. Um, so learn how to be fi financially um, literate. Also, it aids in uh, group, uh, group economics. Term coming from Dr. Claude Anderson. If you don't know about Dr. Claude Anderson, he did an interview twice on the um, Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Uh, his book is called, one of his books is called Poweronomics, and it just talks about how you can use money to develop your community. You know, if everyone is on the same page, passing the dollar around, then you can really do amazing things. Now, just look at it, a lot of our countries. They're not doing well, but, uh, you know, imagine if we just here in the diaspora, we just came together and we just say, okay, collectively, we're going to focus on this one area or we're going to put, we're going to focus on creating this amazing clinic. And, you know, we had our funds together and, and we just, you know, people on the ground, boots on the ground here. A lot of um, advisors, because a lot of us are in the medical field. There's a lot we can do when we have our money together. So financial literacy, very important um, if you want to be an asset to um, your community. And the fifth one, network with other Africans and share information. So what I mean is not just the people on the job or you know people you're trying to talk to relation romantic uh wise like um just bis like socially business or whatever when you go out like learn to network with other africans so that you can you can you can give information that's not readily available all the time like say if you if if someone needs uh, a professional service well, now you can say, hey, I know a lawyer, I know a doctor, I know um, this one person, great reviews, make sure they're quality, and hey, here's their, here's their card. Because, you know, a lot of other groups do that, and I'm not saying that we don't do it, but I feel, just looking at my generation, I don't think we do it enough. We need to be, like, we need a banker, or, like, I should, I should have a list of, um, just all the professional, all the lawyers that I need for whatever business that I'm doing or in my personal life, I should have a list and it should be circulating. We should have like, a, like I'm just saying in, in, in general. So being of service that way, or at least when you network with more people, if you're in trouble, then you have a whole, you have a, a, a more available people that can help you rather than just your small close circle of friends. Now I understand People don't like to put their business out there. They want to be to themselves. Well, there's a there's a drawback to that. You're not really connected like that, and you don't really have that much help if you are in a dire situation. A lot of times, we don't think about the worst case scenarios in life. We just think everything is going to be normal, good. That's not the the case. You know, a lot of people go through go through hard times, and if if they only knew the right people, that hard time could have been cut short. So that's really important. Um, just professional um, services, business partners, if people want to do business together, network with people and then share information. So those are my five ways to be a better asset to uh, your community. Hopefully the one that um, you know asked me this question, you find it beneficial because I, I made this video because of you. 
and um, please like this uh, video and share it um, if, if you find it very helpful. And to the other ones, if you find this video very helpful and enlightening and, you know, maybe made you think of some, some things, then, um, you know, definitely like the, the video. And if you have some comments, then just put them down, down below in the comment section. And, you know, it very much appreciated so other people can see it as well. Um, what else I got? Oh, if you want to follow me on, on IG, you want to see events that I go, I go to, then, uh, my my information is going to be in the pinned comment. You can you can follow me there. Uh, usually when I go to different events, I'll I'll, I'll it's like Afri African events or stuff with the purpose. I like to go to events that actually have a meaning and, and I can learn something from it. And I'll share some of my story or just on my my wall. So if you want to see some of the stuff that I'm I'm doing, I'm I'm definitely going to an event uh, this this weekend. Then just look at um, you know search for my, my IG uh, handler and then you can get informed and you can see you can experience what I'm going through as, as well. Um, until next time, continue to be great and